Welcome to Style Rewind. Let's turn back the style clock and dust off vintage pieces in your wardrobe. What is old is new again. Let's get ready to travel back through time. So in this episode, we're going to travel back in time once again, but to a different decade. We're going to go back to 1964. So let's see. It's 1964, of course. Big, biggest star, Barbara Streisand. You can see her there on the cover of Life magazine. You see the gorgeous Vogue cover of what was in at the moment, all that fur, right? That would be politically incorrect today, <laughs> probably to have a Vogue cover with that much fur on it. And you can see it says, Beetle Mania sweeps the US. So that's what was going on in 1964. Now, style wise, what was happening? Well, there was Nancy Sinatra. These boots are made for walking. You can see her there in her dress. And you can see Twiggy. And then you could see the McCall's print for making your own clothes. And so a lot of people used to actually sew and make their own clothes at home, which is interesting because I think my mom even did that when I was little. And I just thought nowadays I don't think people do that anymore. But what you should see is in common in all of these pictures is that they are all wearing what is known as a shift dress. And you can see this is a big departure from the previous decade in the previous series where we saw that circle skirt and that had the very feminine um, silhouette to it. You know, where you can accentuate the waist and then the curves go out and you look very curvy and hourglass shaped. And you can see now in the 60s with this shift shaped dress, it's more straight. It's more, you're not really seeing all the curves underneath it. So it is almost a 180 degree turn from what was going on the previous decade. But it was all the rage. I still love them now. It is so comfortable and freeing to wear one. <laughs> you don't have to worry about sucking in your stomach or do I need to wear spanks with this? It's just very nice and comfy and I love these styled dresses and they have everything from really casual ones to ones you could wear at work. So shift dress is what we're after in this episode of Style Rewind. So again, go to your closet, go to your mom's closet, aunt's closet, grandmother, great grandmother, whoever tried to raid their closet or head to the nearest consignment shop to look for a shift dress and you're going to want to dust that off because it's going to offer you so many opportunities. So you can see here, you see it's a simple black dress but it's a shift style dress and you can see it's almost straight up and down. It has like almost no flare really to it and like I said it's a big departure from their previous decade and you will love this style of dress. So again start raiding closets, head to the consignment shop or if none of those work for you, you can also just from the comfy of your own living room type that into your Google search bar to find options for you. So how do we modernize this and how do we create an outfit that will work today? So you can see this outfit I created, simple little black dress, but again it's not form fitting but it's still very stylish. So I decided to pair it with these great almost rose colored a bag and shoes so it's fun loafers again very freeing casual look you have this dress on you just put these loafers on I love it because it's in this great color so instead of having like a pair of boring black you know loafers to wear with this I was like why not have a fun color this really fun rose color again and cross body bag to wear with that and because it has the gold chain on the bag I decided to do gold accessory so you can see it's the gold bracelet and it's the bracelet that has a little thing hanging from it and uh, these gorgeous gold X earrings to make this outfit very modern. So again, it is a 60s silhouette that still works very much today and you know, go out and try to find these treasures in your wardrobe or other people's or like I said, or the nearest consignment or secondhand shop. So there we go. But we're not done with our tri time travels in this particular episode. We are gonna travel back in time again to the decade we looked at before the 50s. So how can we pair what we looked at before, the circle skirt, now with the sheath dress? Well, I'm gonna give you an idea. So, we have the sheath dress, we also have the circle skirt. What is great about this is, again, it's very loose fitting. This sheath dress, if styled correctly, you can also wear it as a top. So you can see here, I've just tucked this dress into the circle skirt to make it into more of like a sleeveless black top. It's already a little loose blousey effect, but you may want to tuck it in and then pull it out a little bit just so it has more of a blousing effect um, where the shirt meets the, the top of the skirt. So pull it out a little bit and then look, 
there, paired it with some very fun accessories with lots of pops of color in the earrings and then again with the necklace and created a whole new look for it. Like I said, it is essentially, and I've done this many of time, where I've liked the top of the dress but not the bottom of the dress and I've actually done this on shoots as well where I take the dress and essentially make it into a top <laughs> and add another skirt on top of it. So it's a great way to again get more mileage out of your wardrobe and this is just one very creative way that if you're digging through your grandmother's closet and you find a circle skirt and you found a sheath dress and you're like hey actually I could put these together to make an outfit. So there you go for style rewind of how to pair the 60s with the 50s. And now we're going to jump forward again. Let's go back the 1960s because it's time for hair rewind. So again in this series you know I've been giving you a hairstyle that's inspired of that era that we're looking at. So for this one I mean is there anybody bigger than Bridget Bardo, right? So I found this great tutorial online so you can produce this gorgeous Bridget Bardo style inspired hair tutorial. And I want you to know this is a, a channel that I actually love, um, the Luxie Hair Channel, and I've learned several hairstyles um, by subscribing to this channel. But this is a great hairstyle that I love and super simple. I think a lot of you will be able to watch this and go, oh, I could do that at home. Um, so follow the tutorial and learn how you can have this 60s inspired do. You don't necessarily have to wear it when you wear the shift dress. It's one you can wear all the time. But again, modern take on an old 60s style um, hairstyle. So again, you just follow along. All the tutorials are super easy. It's nothing where you have to sit there for half an hour to be able to do it. But I think you guys will love all the hairstyles in this. And again, just follow along. And they just require basic hair tools all of us would probably have. For example, a curling iron as uh, shown here on the screen. So that's it for our style rewind this time. I think we've done enough time traveling. We went back to the 60s and then we went back to the 50s and I showed you how to pair the circle skirt with a sheath dress. And so now let's just go to present day again. So come on, let's go back 2017 to where the Kardashians have a billion dollar empire. That's it for Style Rewind. I'll see you on the next episode.